Polster in, in English comes from the word polder. And uh, in the Middle Ages, uh, polder was to craft a person that was doing all the awnings and the tents and all that. These materials are 100% organic. You have juniper up, hemp, twine, horsehair. All the stuffing will be created by, by these materials. Every single square inch is filled, is webbing. We have strength and rigidity to the foundation. The essential tools of traditional upholstery, you have different hammers. The tip is, has a different size for a different size of uh, tacks. And you have webbing structure. There's two types. There's this gooseneck webbing structure. This French webbing structure. And then you also have tools for springing. This is for the uh, low sack springs. This is a clipper to clip springs on the burlap and on the uh, webbing. You have um, regulators for horsehair stuffing. You have single point needle like these double point needles like that. And then you have curved needles that comes in different sizes. For the stitching, you have very important is pins, upholstered pins. You have the shears. I was looking for deco, art deco fabric and it turned out this fabric was what I was looking for and the color was right. So it fitted all the criteria that I, that I needed. The fabric uh, calls the shot. The fabric is the boss. So you have to adapt yourself to the fabric all the time. It's never standardized. It's always different. single piece of furniture is different, so therefore the approach is different, the way of upholstering is different, and, um, and the variations are so tremendous that it's never boring. changes I'd like to see in, in, in the future, I would like to see an awareness in the collective consciousness, basically an appreciation for this art that is upholstery. Nobody has any knowledge of what's going on underneath the fabric. chair in 10 hours or you can do the same chair in 40 hours but once you learn about the craft just for the craft's sake you will have an appreciation of it.